Do you struggle with what to post on social media when it comes to making new sales or sharing your opportunity? If that's you, then stick with me today. I'm Sarah Robbins, and I've generated the majority of my leads for my business online. And in today's prospecting pop-up training in under 10 minutes, I'm going to be teaching you how. As we get started, let's get acquainted. Go ahead and shout out below who you are and where you're tuning in from. I'd love to say hi. And if it's your first time watching, click a number one in the comments. So who am I? I'm Sarah Robbins, former kindergarten teacher turned network marketing top leader. Together with our team, we do over a billion dollars in sales every year. And I share my best practices in my best selling book, Rock Your Network Marketing Business. I'm also a coach inside of one of the most supportive, collaborative communities in the industry called the Network Marketing Inner Circle.com. If you're craving coaching and accountability, the Network Marketing Inner Circle is the place to be. Who is ready for today's free training? All right, today we're going to be talking about the top two things you must do in order to sell and sponsor effectively on social media. The top two things, and then we're going to get down to the nitty gritty, and you might learn some new things that have been updated too, are number one, you have to have a well-designed bio. We're going to talk about what that looks like today. And number two, posts that perform. They have to perform well with your audience and in your algorithm. So if you want to know the latest on the algorithm to make sure your posts are seen by more people, your potential customers, make sure you tune in. By the way, if you're loving this, be sure to share this on your team page or in the inbox with a friend. All right. So first and foremost, you must have a well-designed bio. That's your about section. Why is it so important? Well, your bio should be a money-making machine. Every week in the inner circle, I teach our students how to create content that has the ability to go viral, to reach more people. And I said, well, on the day that your post goes viral, or it even reaches more people within your audience, if new people pick up on that, let's say that it's shared to somebody's inbox with a friend, et cetera, the first place they go is to your bio to see, should I hit the follow button? Is there a link where I could try, buy, or learn more? So your bio should tell people who you help, what you help them do, and through what. What is the vehicle? And that's really your opportunity to sell your, to sell your company. And then is there a link where they can click to try, buy, learn more? So for example, my bio might say, I help busy mamas work from home and get the best skin of their life through what? America's number one skincare brand. And then I might say for a free skin scan, click here. And a link to my online solution tool, which is like a funnel. It's a lead magnet. It captures their information, but allows them to play and get a solution as well. So again, I help blank, do blank, through blank. And then where can they try, buy, learn more, right? Is your link inside of your bio. So if your bio is not a money-making machine, a source of passive prospecting for you, make sure that you have that filled out and you've updated that too, okay? All right, next. And by the way, let me just tell, tell you a really quick story on this. Yes, guys, it is for content that goes viral. If people go back to your profile, you want to give them every reason to say, oh, you know, people aren't thinking about you. So sometimes you're writing a bio about you, like, I'm the grand such and such of so and so. Well, nobody cares. They want to know why should I follow this person? How are they going to help me? So make sure you think about that when you're creating it. And it's not just for the people on social. Yes, they see one of your reels. Somebody shared some content, one of your posts with them. And then what's going to make them, what will compel them to hit the follow button? Does that make sense? But the other thing is too, is when you meet people in person. So often when I meet people in person, I'll say, I loved connecting with you today. Let's stay in touch on social, right? I want them to stay in touch with me on social, right? So I'll say, let's stay in touch on social. And I don't ask permission-based questions. I just pass over my phone, open up Instagram, Facebook, and say, let's connect here. Why? Now they are part of my online audience. They start watching my posts. So regardless of whether or not the opportunity came up, I can now follow up and stay in touch. They become a part of my online audience. Quick story for you. I met one of my top three leaders, one of my top three largest legs in my business, Stacy. And Stacy, I met on a company sponsor trip to Bora Bora. Amazingly, my opportunity never came up. I made it all about her, getting to know her. She was a nutritionist, former Mrs. Hawaii, all of the things. 
She said it drove her so quite crazy. She didn't know what I did. She went up to her phone, uh, her phone after we connected, she went up to her room. And because we had connected on social media, she's like, I went right to your bio to see what you did. Clicked on the link and said, I want to join you in business. That's pretty amazing. So how's that for passive prospecting? That's why whether you meet people online or in person, you have that filled out. Okay, the second step, this isn't so important that you stay with me here, is posts that perform. Your posts have to perform well with your audience and in the algorithm. Okay, so what do I mean by that? With your audience, you want to be the place that people go on purpose. That's how you trump the algorithm, right? How do you outsmart the algorithm? By providing great content that serves others, not just the purpose of you checking off your list to say a post about my business today. If you're seeing the only people who are liking your posts are your current team and customers and maybe your mom and your BFF, then you need to rethink your strategy. Every day I wake up, I think, who's my who? Who's my average follower? You can find that in your insights tab. I teach you how in the inner circle. That's what I teach our students how to do. And then you need to think about what problems does that person have, my avatar, and how do I help solve them? And I create content that serves them. Your product is only one solution to their problems. There's other things that busy mamas, right, need to know how to do. So what do they need to know how to do? And again, I'm talking about my average follower. I love to give tips for entertaining and, of course, holiday things with kids. I love to share um, healthy recipes, healthy lunch hacks, et cetera. So I think about if my purpose is to build an audience, right? Then when I sprinkle in my business, I'm going to have people who say, I'm interested. Think about it this way. When you go to do a home event, would you rather have 10 or 20 people in the room? If you have 10 people and let's say 20% buy, that's two people. If you have 20 people, and let's say 20% buy, four people who buy. So your goal is to simply build an audience by giving great value. Thinking about how can you make their lives easier, better today. Here's the goal. You think about this. Am I the page that people check on purpose? Meaning they don't wait to see me in the feed. They're like, I wonder what Sarah Robbins posted today. How is she going to help me? Right? Okay. So be a source of education, inspiration. Some of you, if you're funny, humor, that's great. Okay, the next is your posts do need to perform in the algorithm. So that ensures that they're seen by even more people, even if they don't check you on purpose. So if you notice you're seeing, by the way, the same people in your newsfeed, I want to give you a million dollar tip. You need to write this down and make sure you share this video with your team so they get this too. Who's the majority of who you're seeing in your feed? I'll tell you, it's the people you're interacting with the most. A lot of you guys, it's your team. They're already in your business. I use social media for one purpose. It's to grow new business. So if that's a problem you're having, you need to make a list of your top 10 prospects and start engaging in their content. And again, be genuine. Give them a compliment. Give them a congratulations on something that they posted. You're going to start to show up in each other's feed, okay? But in addition to that, there's some other things that you can do with the algorithm. So what is the algorithm? The algorithm is basically social media math that determines how many people and who see more of your posts. So the key, the key to great engagement is people commenting and you creating some conversation. And I'm going to give you some examples, creating posts that are so good that people share them. Okay. Comments and shares, those really are king. So how can I get some good conversation going, right? Maybe post something controversial. I'm not talking about who did you vote for last election. That's going to get you unfollowed. Okay, your followers are all potential customers. So I'm talking about like Diet Coke or Diet Pepsi, right? And have people take a poll. I'm talking about, you know, um, Cool Ranch Doritos or regular Doritos, right? And getting people to comment and kind of create some healthy controversy in the chat section, right? In the comment section. When I do a post, by the way, I never put links because links suppress posts. So what do I mean by that? When you put a link in your post on social media, social media, it's like a jealous ex-boyfriend, those platforms, they don't want you going off their platform onto another site. I never say message me to learn more because people don't, they don't know what to say, but dropping a one word call to action, like, hey, if the opportunity interests you, drop the word opportunity if you'd like to learn more. You know how many people will start commenting if you give them a one word call to action? Drop the word glow to learn more about our new peel product, okay? Write this down. 
sales happen in the inbox. If you're dropping links anyways, not only will your posts not be seen by others, but you don't even know who clicked them. You can't follow up. And the fortune is in the follow-up. So when somebody drops the word glow or opportunity or info, whatever, you come up with one word that's easy to spell, that they can shout out in the comments if they're interested, now you can go in the inbox and say, thanks so much for your interest. Would love to answer your questions. And you start the prospecting process there. Okay, last, another way to get in people in the comment section is to end your post with a question like, what do you think? Which do you prefer, right? And always make sure that you respond to those comments, maybe with another question. Write this down. Conversation is the currency of social media. Conversation is the currency of social media. Isn't that good? Drop me some fire in the chat. Now, here's the thing, guys. We are going to be talking about all of this and more in our free three-day social media boot camp. Our three, free three-day recruiting boot camp. We're going to be talking about social media strategy and in-person strategy you will not want to miss. If you want to know more about this, if you want to see things on the screen, maybe you're a visual learner like me, we're going to talk about sponsoring on social media in our brand new Rock Your Recruiting Bootcamp. This is all new training and it's totally free. All companies are welcome. So let me tell you a little bit more about it. And then make sure you hit the share button and share this on your team page and the inbox with a friend. This is a free to three day challenge that happens August 28th through 30th at 4 p.m. Pacific time. We ask that you're live on time, cameras on, distractions off, ready to rock your business. Now, there won't be replays unless you upgrade to VIP for a small cost. You can have lifetime access along with a private VIP Q&A session with me afterward where we can open up our phones, implement, and actually do it together. So if you're like, I don't know how to update my bio, let your girl help you. I'm going to be walking you through all the things those three days following the live training. Here's what you're going to learn in three days. Day one, words that work. Learn exactly what to say, how to prospect professionally without spamming or selling. Yes, we'll say, you don't have to slide in the DMs and bug your best friend. How many people are interested in that? Day two, power prospecting. We're gonna show you all the way that you can generate leads online and off so you never run out of people to talk to. And day three, my favorite, social media strategy. What's working right now? If you've been on a previous class with me, things have changed since the last time we talked. If you want to stop selling on social, you're going to learn the strategy to become a lead magnet today so people come to you like they do me on social. Again, number one recruiter, top earner in my company, 15 years later, this stuff works. This is what makes it unique. This training is not on trial. I'm in the trenches with you. I'm teaching you not only what's worked for me, but the hundreds of thousands of people on my team and also the thousands of people in my coaching program, the Network Marketing Inner Circle, that this is working successfully for. So what are you waiting for? Make sure you get registered. Everybody, any company is welcome. Where do you register? RockYourRecruitingChallenge.com. The link is also in my bio. So what do you win? What's important now? What are the three things you want to do right now? Number one, make sure you register RockYourRecruitingChallenge.com. Number two, then be sure that you are SVP. We need to know how many spots you have left. So after you register, just say, I'm in, in the comments below. If you're planning on registering right now, go to the comments and say, I'm in. We're almost full, so we need to get an idea of where we're at. And then the third three it thing is, please be sure to tell your team. So what are you going to do? Click the share button on this. Share it in a team page, in the inbox with a friend. The more who know, the greater your team will grow. All right, who's in? Let me know in the chat below, rockyourrecruitingchallenge.com. I'll see you on Monday. Have a great day. God bless. Goodbye for now. And